How you doing out there? This is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer from beautiful Chandler, Arizona. And I got a sonnet here that I wrote. Why? Because I don't know. I wrote it 11 years ago <laughs> because it was bad then and it's a whole lot worse now and there's no law and order. And you know, that means uh, you do know, uh, I'm talking to all of you out there, you do know that that means when there's no law and order, then it's vigilante time. And mobs don't understand that there's going to be other mobs. And there's going to be a, a civil war. People don't stop this. And now it's gotten so bad in 2020. You wonder where the Dexter Morgans are when you need them. That's a really good television show. And Michael Hall, he's terrific, a good actor. The whole cast about a guy, he takes out the trash. And that's what this sonnet is, number 830. I wrote it 11 years ago. Why? Because stuff like this makes me angry. Why? I'm reading these names and nobody remembers and nobody cares. Morgan Harrington, a pretty little girl. Jessica Lunsford, a pretty little girl. Elizabeth Olton violated, gone, dead, snatched away, defiled, raped by monsters, murdered. The names of the victims, they're all over the newspapers and the, uh, the history of, of crime. The names of the victims are legion. There's thousands of them, millions of them. No one is safe anywhere anymore. Merciless criminals hunting for prey, hunting for victims, hunting for the weak, counting hideous scores. These people doing all this damage, they're keeping track in their head what they've gotten away with. When there is no law, it's the jungle. I like Axel Rose, Guns and Roses. Welcome to the jungle. Prowling around these demons, stalking, destroying lives. Eyes of satanic demons, devils, Satan's little helpers, sucking blood, torturing tiny little children. There's animals out there, child abuse, Lucifer's evil ones. Dr. Spock, remember his book? You got to let them think they're, they're, they're entitled to everything. There's no consequences, none, no punishments. These very same people now are monsters. They allow no mercy. Murders. Dr. Spock, nurtured by leniency. They have black souls, dark and bloody, because those are the ones that are making all the law and order disturbances and riots and chaos going on today. Is Solinsky. He worshiped the devil. His insane dictum to say this. Overwhelm the system with madness. Yeah. Overwhelm America with all this. There's no law and order. What's going on? It's madness. Sololinsky. All demons operate with ridicule. Violence. Dirty prurience. That means filthy minds. Bringing the whole system down. Crashing down with condoned criminal behavior. The good people out there are letting this happen. All these mobs are singing songs of anarchy, human beasts on the loose. They're no savior. They're not saviors. They're devils. Good people sit and watch while things in America descend into that savage jungle of Axel Rose, Guns and Roses. Welcome to the jungle. Blood runs in torrents. Crime explodes exponentially, and it's ugly. Why do good citizens put up with these brutal human monsters? These monsters die, they must. That's what Dexter Morgan says. Capital punishment for these craven cowards. Look at hordes of school dropouts. How can millions of kids not be able to read? No jobs for them. No skills. No prospects for their future. Their souls are dead. 
and they're angry. They're filled with anger, revengeful, total derelicts in life, prowling around for retribution, payback, wanting an equal share, vampires sucking blood, robberies, rapes, murders. Society deserves retaliation. Getting quick justice, where's that come from? It's going to come from vigilantes. It's citizens uniting to fight back in neighborhoods, getting together and saying, we got to help each other. We got to band together. We got to have a neighborhood clan. Where is Dexter Morgan when you need him? Taking out the trash. We got to scare the guilty to death. And we got to scare him with death. Dexter Morgan, ah, he'd like to cut them up and throw them in the ocean. They should be, all these evil people should be burned to ashes. Criminality has gone way too far out of control. America, you got to fight back now. It's insanity to coddle murderers. Dexter Morgan, ah, let, let's shoot them. Let's hang them high. You know, in the old days... They'd hang you for stealing a horse. And now we let people get away with murder. Listen to this. Little Summer Renee Thompson. A pretty little girl raped, murdered, tortured, thrown in the garbage. Somebody's daughter. An animal did that. An animal's breathing my air. That responsible devil should be killed in a Dexter Morgan's rage. Murders. Hey, I would like to see the murders themselves outlawing murder or pay the consequences. Vendettas at night by vigilantes are becoming critically necessary. Kill the killers. Go after them. They'll run because they're rats. Rats. They're Satan's little helpers. Listen. It's written, a life for a life. We don't want people to have prison with three square meals a day and a room and a TV. And we, Charles Manson, he, he was that way for 50 years. They even made shirts about him and all made him some kind of hero when he's a monster, he's a devil. And that's what it's come to. The media worships the devil. The knife of the guillotine. The Germans used the guillotine. 16,000 people they beheaded in the Second World War. You think maybe that needs to be reinstated? That's really harsh, huh? But it's the murderer's doom. They're getting away with murder. Life is too precious to let killers live. Thou shalt not kill. Give the murderers a tomb. And I wrote this 11 years ago. Because crime now is completely out of control. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you right now. I'm a radical Yankee Republican. And Donald Trump won this presidential election of 2020 in a landslide. And I'll tell you what, Dominion and Sequoia, these crooked computer companies, there was a guy on TV, he said, in 10 minutes, I can change an election. Just have me access and let me hack. He's an expert hacker. Donald Trump won in a landslide. And you guys out there got to help me. You got to speak up. You should be outraged. This could cause a civil war. If this is true, and it is true, it's the greatest crime ever committed against the United States of America in American history. That an election was, was stolen by elites who want it to be 1984 and want us all to be slaves. Because that's what they want, you know. They want the government of the elites, their big brother. We'll have to do what they say and eat the crap they give us to eat and the crappy jobs working us to death. Why? To keep us busy. Constant war, constant turmoil, and the elites have all of it. The money, the money, the power, the power. Wake up! I'm asking all of you out there that voted for Donald Trump, help me. And this song that I wrote right here about Dexter Morgan, is that what it's going to take? Vigilantes. That's why we have guns, you know. 
to letting these these mobs understand that poor couple they arrested in Missouri or wherever it was. They, they, they had a gun and they were defending their own property and they charged them a gun crime. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed, period. And I'm telling you Republicans out there, Donald Trump won this election in a landslide. And we all know it. All the other Republicans won in landslides. The American people are sick of this crap. Communism, Marxism, socialism. These people want to make you slaves. Wake up. Thank you for listening. John Wayne Mercure, bless all of you. Au revoir, mes amis.